Her team dominated Persia to launch off to a 1-0 start. This past week, she had a phenomenal team. The problem is she got in a shootout and lost. Well, I'll actually simplify it for you guys. Jennifer Smoke lost because her kicker threw up Did a not zero. score. 35 to nothing, Bills beat Miami. Stupid kickers. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it Terrible. was awful. It was, it was a, a no, bad No, I'll, I'll tell you why I lost. I'll, I'll tell you why I lost because I played against Tom Brady and I played against the Tampa Bay defense who had two pick sixes within the last eight minutes of the game, which squandered my chances of winning. And if they would have called the Julio Jones touchdown a touchdown as it was, then I would have won. I lost by five, but five point four points. I almost thought there was a word after I five. Say, I think yeah, you there, did. Think did you was. did you blank her out to Armstrong? What you did? <laughs> oh dear! No. Or wash your mouth out with soap. Yeah, that was I mean, a four tough. point four points is how I lost. And then also mm. in overtime, in overtime. She has Russell Wilson, Paul, and they get the ball back. Oh, gosh. And they don't even pick up a first down. He doesn't complete a pass for five yards or anything. Anything there, and she probably wins. Yeah, I played against a guy who had Derrick Henry, and thankfully I had Aaron Jones on the back end, but I thought I was in control. And then, But, yeah. Uh, Well, Jennifer, this week's matchup looks pretty good for you, actually. No, it does. It does. I, I made it. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I feel like my, I don't know. There's just some people I just, I need, I need some people on my team to just to step up. For instance, you know, James Robinson, I'm, I'm keeping him on my, I, mean, I, I don't really have a choice, but he's my running back. I'm, you know, he's not the James Robinson he was last year, like we've discussed before, um, because of the amount of touches he's getting. But it's, it's like the Jaguars might be worse than they were last year. And Urban has, Lawrence throwing the ball all over the field. So I, I need Urban to run, do the running game early and just say a prayer that, you know, I can get James Robinson to get me some more points because the last two weeks I've been disappointed. Did you pick up a running so, back? Did you, did you even look at a running back as an option? Dad, listen, I, I know I keep having to explain fantasy to you, but running back <laughs> very slim. Okay, it's not just easy to go run and pick up a running back. There's not very many that are out there because people are, grab them during the draft and sit them on their bench. I have the the only running back I have on my bench right now is Jamal Williams, and you know he's pretty much a backup to somebody. So I mean I, I I'm I, I don't know what to say about that, but yes, I've kept my eyes on the running back. It's like last last week when I tried to get Elijah, um, and somebody grabbed him before me on the waiver list. So. I'm keeping my eyes open, but I still, I'm still, I just don't want to give up on Robinson yet. I just need Urban Meyer to start running the ball, and then I'll be happy. Well, and he's not catching many passes. Seventy-two well, yards rushing. Well, I'll just say in your league, Jen, the the best are so Smokey will understand this. The best three available yeah, please, running break it backs down for him. are Cordero Patterson, Mark Ingram, and J.D. McKissick. Well, Cordell Patterson, he, he might – you'd get credit if he runs a kickback for a touchdown. I have a dumb question because I, I don't do fantasy, but would Tony Pollard have any value? <laughs> well, he's the, probably rostered because he's not okay. available. So. Okay. Jennifer, does anyone, yeah, he's not. Does, does anyone have Derrick Henry? No, does, Dad. He's, on, he, he's not – he hasn't been picked up yet. Yes, Dad. And, and it's not me. Okay. But I have McCaffrey. No. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. McCaffrey, I'm, I'm very happy with McCaffrey because um, he, he dominated the Saints last week with 24 carries, had five receptions for 25 yards, I mean, 65 yards. Um, so the first two weeks of the season, the Panthers have one of the best defense in the NFL, which helps McCaffrey out because if the Panthers get out early, they just continue to feed him. So, um, you know, thank, thank God I have him. And I also did pick up the Panthers defense this week. Um, shout out, you know, to Matt Rule. But um, through the first games, the Panthers have had the best defense in the NFL and the number one defense in fantasy. So you just like Matt Rule did at Baylor, they play unselfish, fundamentally sound defense. I mean, can any of you even name somebody that's on the, you know, that's on the Panthers defense? I feel like they're they are not talked about much as individual players. But Brian Burns, um, Hassan Reddick. Yeah, Bravion Roy, defensive tackle, played at Baylor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I did pick them up this week because, and that's another thing. Like, yeah, like when, when Tampa, playing against Tampa Bay, I mean, that whole Brady Tampa Bay game just 
killed me last week. Killed me. So, it's such a shame. Greg, nothing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't, so, no? so Paul, is she a heavy favorite? Uh, is this, uh, she's about a ten point favorite? Oh God. Yeah, but you. Are, well, here's the thing, too. Yeah. Alex has, is playing my Herbie, and so you know they're playing against KC, so that's going to be an absolute shutout. I mean, a shootout. And then you've got Devontae Adams, who hasn't scored a touchdown yet this whole year, so he's totally due for one. And he's playing against a solid 49ers defense, so I'm sure Aaron Rodgers is going to come out throwing the ball against them. And I, I feel like some rumors from off season that you know that's a place he might that is rumored he was possibly interested in going to. So um, I feel like that's going to be a good game. And then she has DeAndre Hopkins, who is um, tied for the lead in receiving touchdown. And he is questionable coming into the game, but I, I think he should be good to go by Sunday. And I expect him to go off because they're playing the horrific Jacksonville defense. So I'm just praying the Cardinals get ahead big with other people scoring and then they don't play him as, you know, they don't throw to him as much in the second half. And she has Debo Sanders killing it. So he's uh, currently the third, the third wide receiver in fantasy. So I think it's going to be a, it's going to be another big matchup. I hate kickers, and I and I can't stand the fact that they have so much importance in fantasy football. So this is a guy who sh- they were shut out. Two was hurt. Paul, it, it, is Miami going to score? I don't is this know. A- this it's bad. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal for my. Oh, well, I dropped him. Oh, okay. I, I dropped Jason, so it's that's that's the end of his career on my team. He's yeah. gone. Yeah, she she. She uh, up a new kicker. Yes, God, she, that's cold blooded. I mean, she picked up former cowboy Nick Folk, who's with the Patriots now. That's not a bad team. I mean, with Belichick, you know they they're going to score some points with Mac Jones, and you're going to get in some games with the weather. You kick field goals rather than score touchdowns. All right. Uh, Jennifer, by the way, yeah. there was a, uh, a text on the from Bob Williams. He's a big Auburn fan. You guys need to put pretty smoke needs to be uh, on a T-shirt. And she wasn't, they weren't talking about they, he wasn't talking about Craig and me. <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, thanks. I'll speak for her. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, Jennifer, it's thank no. you. Yeah. No, I, I was about to continue on with what I'm saying, but okay. thank you very much. Very sweet. Okay. And he's also the same one that says he <laughs> wants to turn off our show during NFL segments, yeah. and so how yeah. can he even know you exist? Jennifer, were you happy with Julio Jones last week? Yes, yes. Finally, he stepped up and did something for me. He's starting to He started to look last week like the Julio that we all know, his, but that touchdown, like I said, made me sick. I mean, I, I was with Craig while I was watching these games, but that cost me the win. So Julio will be hit hit or miss depending on his matchup. So I do like him this week because he's going to be playing against the Colts. Um, so I am, I'm hoping he has another big week for me, but I think I'll just take it week by week with him and see who he's playing. But that brings me to um, my other wide receiver choice, because right now I have in Julio Jones and Adam Thielen, who Adam Thielen has just continued to dominate in the red zone. And obviously, like I've said before, Cousins loves going to him within the 25-yard line. So um, I'm, I'm very I'm, – I like, I like what I'm seeing from Damon this year. But I have Claypool, and that's another thing. Last week I was playing against Deonta Johnson, and he had nine receptions and went over 100 yards on the very last play of the game, which gets you bonus points. So, oh, but then he injured himself on that play. He injured himself earlier. So – I, I think that if uh, he's playing again, I don't think I should have Claypool in. And in that case, I'll probably put in Sterling Shepard, who's on my bench. But I just have to see first if um, Johnson's going to be uh, going to be in to play or if he's going to sit this one out. Well, and just for historical accuracy, I was around Jen uh, this past weekend, and she said that you know Julio <laughs> Jones' touchdown getting wiped off made her sick. Uh, from what I remember, that's not why you felt sick. I think it was the couple days before with the girls is why you weren't feeling so well. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> just a little <laughs> hungover on Sunday. Just a little hungover. Oh, uh, just, just shocking. A bit. I mean, it can't have, that, that's never happened <laughs> before. By the way, Jen, uh, keep an eye on Rondell Moore on your bench. That's a nice pick up there. Mm. Uh, had a long touchdown. Yeah. 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 He, he had a good no, week no, last I, week, so. No, exactly. That's why I picked him up. I feel like he's become the number two wide receiver in Arizona and might be their number one deep target threat. So 
obviously I know people like Christian Kirk and AJ, AJ Green are awesome receivers, but I, I really do like what I've seen from Rondell Moore so far. And I also think he could be a likely candidate to possibly be like an NFL's offensive rookie of the year. And so I, I am keeping my eye on him, and I hope he continues to progress too because I might need to start playing him over some of these other people okay, on okay. my team. Here's uh, when we find out about um, Jennifer and Craig. Who, who did you guys – were you happy with the, the Oklahoma-Nebraska score? <laughs> I was, yes, yeah. Yes. I was just fine with it. Felt so bad for you. I got a text <laughs> from Jennifer that said, your Huskers played so hard. <laughs> Well, that's, that's where it is now. It's like, it, what, what? I mean, I, I was it, one thinking that Scott Frost might get left on the tarmac after that game. Yeah. So the fact that they played yeah. as well as they did, I think, was a, was a win in some ways. Your Huskers played so hard. That's always when you suck. Yeah. When somebody played so no, hard, no, they played they hard. They did. And they looked like they no, were having fun. I was, I, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I was... I was not able to watch the first half of the game, so I kept watching this, watching it on my phone, and I kept seeing that the OU wasn't scoring much, so I knew something was going on, and uh, that's when I knew that the defense had played hard, like the old Huskers did. So I'm ha- I was happy to see that, but I'm I'm glad that they didn't beat the our old Huskers, the very <laughs> yeah. very very old yeah. Huskers. You okay, play, you, they played so hard. <laughs> sounds like well, they'll get a Capri Sun and an yeah. orange slice afterwards. Good yeah. for them. Mm, maybe, no. may, maybe one of their dads will spring for Froyo. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. All right. oh man, they got, they did, Dad. It was they better than their so, first two. Weeks. They played so hard. Thank you very much. All right. So how's Oreo? She's doing good. She's doing good. Um, yeah. <laughs> good. That didn't sound that was very convincing. convincing. Did that sound convincing no, to very you? Very convincing. No, she's doing great. She she hears y'all's voices, and I'm always afraid that she's going to start barking or whining while I'm on the show. So quiet right now. So I'm trying. No, stop. Okay. Right. <laughs> Oreo. Oreo. Stop. We had we had Woodrow in the in the house last year just bark randomly yeah, throughout did. the show when we were there. Fun. So it's hey, fine. Yeah, Jennifer, put the uh, speaker phone. Bad dog. You, yeah, that oh, yeah. That I'm would, not gonna say no, that. Yeah. That's terrible. That's she just she just put her head down with a sad oh. face. Oh. Well, I did I'm like kidding, having a dog kidding, hanging kidding. around the show though. That was kind yeah. of fun to have Woodrow hanging yeah. around back in the day. Woodrow yeah. was so amazing. Here we are doing a three hour show. Now one time. He got a little bit frustrated, and he's yeah. all that, what, he would no. He barks at the mailman yeah. or the or the garbage people because he's getting old. So he decided he's going to yeah, do that's, that. Yeah. That's what Ori. Time she sees the mailman walk up the door, she goes crazy. It's like she can't figure out that that happens every day. So <laughs> um, I always get worried. That's why I'm worried when I do this. She's going to see something and start going crazy. But that's okay. All right. Good luck uh, your, your team this week, and hopefully. Uh, next Thursday, we'll have better news. It's Jennifer Smoke, Fantasy Football League expert with us. Uh, she and a bunch of her friends, girlfriends, have a league, and it is an absolute cat fight. the texting going back and forth. When we come back, well, we got a little time here, right, Paul? A couple minutes. So let's, a couple not, of let's, not, let's not go super indulgent like we did before. All right. but. Let's, uh, let's read this one, all right? Uh, let's see here. Oh, by the way, when we mentioned Chicago, we had an immediate chat saying thank you from the city of Chicago. Sweet. That's where we are. Yeah, I mean, that was fantastic as well. Um, So 